Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek. Definitely happy you stopped by. You didn't have to, but you did, and I appreciate that. And today I kind of wanted to talk about accountability, something that I am not too good at, <laughs> obviously. Um, you know, last week we talked about weight loss as well as depression and stuff, and we're still going to kind of talk about that today, but we're going to go into a little bit more depth to kind of really get a feel how I've been feeling lately. Um, as you guys know, I had a surgery back in August. Um, it was a weight loss surgery. Since then, I lost 70 pounds, but recently, as of late, I gained 20 of it back. No fault, but um, just my own fault. It was my fault. I did it. I went back and started eating the same way I used to, and it's super unhealthy, super bad. And it's embarrassing, it's really embarrassing because I was super proud because I, I got out of the 300s and now I'm back to 300s, I weigh 315 pounds now. And I was weighing, I think it was almost 295, 292, 295. And yeah, it's embarrassing, it's embarrassing because I, you know, done all that stuff for nothing basically. I uh, let myself go after the fact I was so excited to get this done, and I just fucked up. I, I screwed up, and it was my fault. My fault. And I don't really have anybody else to blame but myself. But I'm trying to hold myself accountable. So yesterday, I started a full liquid diet, and I'm going to have to admit, at the end of the day, I screwed up. But today, I started over again, and this is where I'm trying to sit... You know, talk about accountability. I woke up this morning, started with my shake, and I plan on doing the same thing. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do is like have one meal, but something super healthy, like a salad or uh, meat or something, some type of protein. That way, I can kind of get that satisfaction. And that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to have pretty much the whole day. It's going to be shakes, but there'll be one meal no breading nothing like that and it's going to be a meat or vegetable but it's not a potato or anything like that i think that might be a good compromise that way i can still feel like hey i'm filling up on solid food but most for the most part it's going to be a full liquid diet except for one meal per day and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to try to hold myself accountable for that i'm going to do my best to make sure that I don't fuck up again because I screwed up last night um, and I, I I get tempted really really bad I, I, I get tem temptations all the time and that's my problem I, I, I don't have I have have this no drive I have no drive basically and that's a problem with me that's one of my mental issues that um, that's been plaguing me since I was a kid but you know I, I've had I've been on diets where I lost a lot of weight. Say, uh, when I was in high school, I almost weighed 300 pounds. Then I went on to the Atkins diet, which that was a big thing then. And I got down to, uh, I think it was 195. And, <laughs> well, you're supposed to do things a certain way on the Atkins diet. I didn't do it. I went, the, I just went hard on it. Just eating meats and vegetables. That's it. And, um, I end up losing my appendix and my gallbladder, which don't do that. Don't do that. But I want to get back to that drive, that current drive, which I feel like I can do it. I just have to really push myself. I really do. Um, one of the things last week was like the last few weeks, actually, I've been super depressed about the stuff that's going on in my life, like uh, job stuff and things like that and at the end of the week on Friday I got some really good news like the best news I've got for a while and that was I got offered a job that I didn't think at first I was not going to get because they hired somebody else well they called me Friday and offered me a job and it just so happens to be my dream job a lot of people know I love graphic design Ever since I was a freshman in high school, I was big into graphic design. I used Photoshop every day. 
Now I do have some like experience with sort of, like, Illustrator, um, some some other design programs, but I'm a little rusty on those. Um, but that was really good news. It actually made me feel really happy. But for some odd reason, I went back to being depressed again and not being so, I don't know. Just, I, I was tempted to do anything that I wasn't supposed to do. And, you know, I should be pretty happy about that, right? I should be really happy. Uh, one thing comes, something I've always wanted, and I finally got it. But for some odd reason, I went back to that same depression, which, you know, I was told by a counselor, my counselor, that I should check myself in, and uh, didn't. I didn't. I, I don't want to, didn't want to do that, so I didn't. And anyways, which we're going back to the diet stuff. Now that I have this um, new job, this new happiness, I guess, maybe I can channel that into the diet as well by because i'm an emotional eater a lot of people are most of us big thick boys and thick girls are usually emotional eaters it's like man i'm sad what's well, going to make me happy ah, i really like donuts and tacos man so you eat donuts and tacos they're pretty good but then you feel like shit afterwards you're like man i screwed up and that's what i do every day like oh, that's how i was doing my diet i was like i i get up and i'm like yes i'm gonna go for it End of the day, I just fuck up. I'm like, nah, man. I'll just eat this donut or this these cookies or stuff like that. But I, I think this week should be different. Um, I'm going to approach it that way. The, you know, my shakes throughout the day and at least one meal that is a small meal, but as just no breading, anything like that. Maybe like chicken, steak or something, like some vegetables. Um, I think that's what I want to aim for, just, just to try to move things back to where they was. I want to get my stomach back down because it's grown out, it's stretched at this point. Um, now, I've seen a lot of people get into the same issues. One of my favorite YouTubers of all time, Boogie2988, he kind of let himself go a little bit to same issues, and I think he's getting back on track. Uh, last time I checked, but I, I'm wanting if he can do it. I can do it. I know I can do it um, and I'd like to I like to continue doing that So another thing I do want to talk about while we're on here is content um, Now you may no notice an increase in content as of late as it to be with like Pokemon in general and it's gonna get harder for me to right now uh, do more unboxings until uh, I start getting my money and start getting all the bills and stuff paid. And uh, once ever, once me and my fiance get our place, it's going to be easier too because you know I'll be able to get my stuff and we're going to have more room to do things. Because right now I'm just kind of I got a small room. I, I'm living with my brother and I'm really thankful for that. He's gave me a place to stay for a couple years and. Uh, I'm just finally starting to get to the point where I'm going to get back on my feet. Um, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping uh, that goes. I'm going through a bankruptcy, which is kind of embarrassing. But, you know, I, like I said, I made stupid decisions when I was a kid. A young, young, dumb, dumbass. And, you know, spent money the wrong way. I took out loans. And, you know, I... You know, I tried to help other people out and ends up biting me in the ass. But, you know, I, I, I don't want it to be that way. I want to fix that problem, fix my credit. Um, I want to get back into school. I need to figure out a way to get back into school. Um, and I'm trying to figure out, too, I want to do a side hustle as well. Some more freelance stuff. That way I can... I don't know, make a little bit more money on the side and also build a little bit of notoriety. Uh, I have been approached from a newspaper in Ashland, well, Greenup, uh, and f for a, you know, a minor little role in that, maybe in streaming or 
video editing or graphic design, which I want to kind of do that, continue honing my skills as a graphic designer and a multimedia dude. I want to do that. I want to make sure that, um, you know, I get some more experience. I, I, I want to build a really nice resume. Last few years, I have not been able to keep a job down at all, at all. I've been into, I've been in a hospital a lot. Uh, rather be health issues like um, my heart, which I got a bad heart for the most part. Um, and I had like a head or hernia and all that other stuff. But um, my other thing was my mental health. So I've been in and out of the um, mental wings of a hospital about four times uh, for suicide attempts or uh, thoughts of suicide or pretty much attempted suicide. It got me put into a, the ICU. Um, this was a few years back. I made a stupid decision to swallow all my blood pressure pills. And let me go ahead and tell you, it's definitely not fun to get um, <laughs> to get a tube stuck down your nose into your throat, <laughs> down to your stomach, or try activated charcoal. Dude, it sucks. It really does. Wouldn't recommend it. But I am seeing people. I've been been taking medicines, newer medicines, and you know that's been good. It's been really good. It's been helping me out a lot. Uh, some days are better than others. But like I said, I want to take this back to being accountable for myself and for others to try to help others out and hold myself accountable for my own actions and try not to do stupid things or, you know, break out of this diet stuff. I know it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to get back because it was hard before because you had to go on a little bit of a diet before you had the surgery. Um, like I said, I lost about 70 pounds and I've gained 20 back in the course of the year. So it's kind of embarrassing. I'm already starting to see, I, I feel like I'm swelling up. I look in the pictures, I'm like, man, I look exactly like I did a year ago. Nothing's changed and it was my fault. I did it, I did it. You know, I want to fix my mental health stat. stat I'm hoping with this new job, um, you know, I can bring back some happiness. Um, I mean, my fiance is getting ready to find us a place here soon. So that's going to be awesome. We got us adopted some new kittens. We got some kittens now, and that's pretty awesome. Pretty happy about that. Uh, I want to try to do more for my family and friends. I like to see my friends more, which I haven't really got to see them. And I, I'm going to go ahead and let you know, I, I'm a bit of a shut in. I don't talk to very many people and it's kind of embarrassing because, you know, I've got all these friends and I don't talk to anybody. I just kind of stick to my streams and I stay at home. I don't really, the only people I talk to is my family and uh, my fiance. Um, and, and that needs to change, that needs to change. Obviously, that would probably make me feel a whole lot better. Cause uh, yeah, at, at the end I miss my friends. I really do I miss them a lot. And it sucks that I kind of just, I feel like I maybe burn a bridge uh, with my friends because I just kind of gave up and you know again it's totally my fault the whole again it's being accountable for that um, I don't know I don't know I'm, I'm just hoping that I can change things and of course I want to grow our channels you know we got the Twitch and YouTube channel um, we're getting closer to 500 followers we got a while but we're getting closer and closer, which I'm hoping we can, because uh, we're going to be doing some cool stuff. Uh, I want to set these goals for myself and for the channel. So the 500 is my first goal, then a thousand, then after that, you know, the sky's the limit. I definitely want to push as hard as I can. Um, and with your guys' help and, you know, my family and my friends and just you know, like I said, holding myself accountable, all these good things will happen, I hope. At least, at least I hope. I, th I think they will. I really do. But guys, I'm sure you're uh, tired of listening to me ramble. I definitely appreciate it if you did stop by and you're watching this and maybe you got something out of it. Maybe you need help. Um, feel free to reach out to me the best you can. Like, 
uh, rather be on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, <laughs> it, it, even on here if you want to make a, you know, another video that's kind of, you know, in reply to me, you know. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And you guys have a good day.